Okay, so today we're going to do a generator test. So I haven't done that yet. So it's been rainy for about three days. This will be the third day of rain, cloudy. Um, so this will be a good time to try this. Here's my generator. It's the PowerMax XP8500. This is an old generator. I got this over 10 years ago. And it's barely been used. I started about every two months, let it run for about 15 minutes. I put a load on it and just let it run like a couple of 500 watt shop lights. Uh, so it's uh, 120, 240 volt rated, um, 60 hertz, 7,000 watts continuous, and 8,500 watts peak. So let's see here. And this is my cable. So I can go ahead and plug this in now. <clears throat> All right. So it has a switch. So I'll leave the switch off. Um, yeah, it's got an electric start, but the battery's long been dead, and I just used the pull start. So yeah, that's no good. But got the pull start over here. Turn the fuel on. Always when I test run it, I always let it run. Uh, itself out of gas so there's no gas in the carburetor so I'll let that get started check the oil and whatnot and uh, let's get this thing cranked here up. we are on the outside of the wall just got the other end of the cord plugged into my 30 amp reliance plug here so we're hooked up here and it's over to the generator sitting here on the sidewalk out of the rain all right, let's start her up. Okay, so it got down to 71% overnight. Uh, we're getting about, looks like, what 11 12 amps coming in at 52 volts so that's uh, about 500 550 watts coming in off the panel and it is starting to charge it up slowly we're up to 72 percent but uh, we're going to hook the generator up to it and switch it over to have the system charge it off the generator so i haven't tried this yet uh, let's take a look at our transfer panel which i've opened up here's the utility output which is 243 here's the generator output which is should be zero yeah so that's zero so the next thing i'm going to turn on the switch on the generator and bring power up to the switch so let's do that okay so all that should do is put 240 up to here yeah there we go pretty unstable look at that but there's no load on it. So when I switch this on, that should put the 240 up here. It should qualify it and auto connect, start charging. So let's give it a go. Give it a go. Boom. Oh, turned it on. Oh, and it turned it off. It didn't like it. Huh. Oh, now it is charging. No, it doesn't like the power. Huh. It's too unstable. Charging, no. Dang. All right, let's cut that. Hmm. stable all right charging how much charging oh charging 
There we go. Starting to pull some power out of that Jenny. 40 amps. I hear that generator starting to struggle. Fifty amps. It's fifty amps at fifty three volts, which is not that much. Twenty five hundred watts should be able to handle that. state of charge putting 110 amps in of course some of that's coming from here not much though wow 110 at 50 that's like 5,000 watts five or six thousand watts it's rated at seven the generator is rated at seven thousand and it's putting in a hundred well, roughly 100 amps at 54 volts, which is 5,400 watts. And let's see if we start getting our state of charge going up. It's not going to go up that fast. But theoretically, we're charging here. Both charging. Both chargers are on. We're each putting 54. Well, each putting 51 amps into the batteries off of the generator. 72% charged. It seems to be working. So far, so good. Let's see if it's on fire. That's definitely the hardest that generator's worked ever in its 10 years. 73% charged, all right, moving up. All right, nice. All right, so that's it for uh, the generator input. We'll let it run for a while and then we'll turn it over to the sun again. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one.